Okay, my name is Brenda Moore and I have a ministry with the uh, inmates at the Maximum Security Prison, the women's prison, here in Columbia, South Carolina. Um, my heart for this ministry really is to be the hands and feet and heart of Jesus to these women who are feel like they are forgotten and really a lot of them are forgotten by their family and friends. So we go in, a friend of mine, Sheila Campbell, and we spend time doing three things. We really have a heart to try to encourage them physically, emotionally, and spiritually. And how we do that is we go in and we have a, a fitness boot camp, which is a very um, intense exercise time. And then we have a time of refreshments with fresh fruits and vegetables, which they don't get, and they love that. And then we have a time of devotion where we get into God's Word and um, encourage them that way. First time we brought um, grapes in, um, I remember just hearing comments from the ladies that they hadn't seen grapes in nine or ten years. So it is really meaningful to them that we, they are loved in that way, very tangible way. So while they're eating the fresh, fruit, fresh fruits and vegetables, we have our time in God's Word. And we aim to try to encourage them in the love and forgiveness and hope that is in Christ and, and what it means to have a relationship with Jesus and what that can mean to them there on their, in their daily life of prison life. And one of the most encouraging things that we get are we ask for prayer requests, written prayer requests from the inmates. And we get 25 or 30 of those every time we go in. And that is what we use to begin to build relationships with these women because they share their, they share their hearts in these prayer requests. And um, they can be very um, hard to read and, and to hear what, what these ladies deal with, but then we can go back in the next time and just touch them on the shoulder and, and tell them we're praying for them and ask about how their children are doing or their mothers or whatever their concern has been. And, it, and they're always very surprised that we come back in and literally cared enough to know the name of their children and to even ask about that. So to me, that is one of the biggest bridges we use to build the relationships with these women and then they begin in turn to, to trust us and to um, hear more of what we have to say about the Lord and the difference that He can make. Um, I've been so encouraged, I know Sheila has as well, with the feedback that we continually get um, from the inmates. Through the prayer request, they always will say a little sentence at the end of the prayer request of what this, this class and, and the devotions have meant to them and how it's been sometimes the exact word from God that they needed at that particular day and, and just the physical activity and what that's done, the camaraderie that it's, that it's meant that it brought together these ladies together in a way that they don't ever have that opportunity to, to be. And uh, it's just so encouraging to hear those words, and, and I would love for you to hear um, from in their own words what this program has meant to them. Hey, good people of God. I want to thank you for every kind word, every kind thought, just taking time out to spend with us. I'm so glad that y'all express the love of God during exercises. Thanks for the extra pushing, just being a great motivation to us. When I see y'all enter these gym doors, it touches my spirit because I know that I'll be receiving a good workout and a word from God. Thank you for everything and more. Be blessed. Hi, all of you. Thank you so much for all you guys. It is so amazing to me that there are people out there who care about us. I truly thank God for you guys. I was praying for an exercise class a little while ago, and God sent all of you guys. Boot camp means so much to me. I'm getting healthy mind, body, spiritually. Thank you for caring with love. I don't think there are words to tell you all how much all of us appreciate all you do for us, for our overall health, spiritual, physical, and mental. To know that we matter to people who don't even know us gives us hope for tomorrow. I had let myself and my health go so bad. I knew I needed to make changes but couldn't seem to inspire myself when you all came along and it was like a lifeline to me. I really feel like this program has saved my life by making me care about myself again. Thank you all, not just Brenda and Sheila, but ever, everyone who helps to lighten their load. Thank you seems so little to say for all you do. May God bless you all over and over again. 
I thank God for sending y'all to us. I, for me personally, I love the fact that the ladies work on our body and feed our souls, drawing our spirits back to our one true living God. The time each of you have given, we can never thank you enough. And to everyone who donates, please know we appreciate the time, exercise, scriptures, prayer, encouragement, music, cheerful spirits, caring hearts, and the food and drink. May God bless each and every one of you for your loving kindness and thoughtful hearts. We appreciate everything. Thanks. Um, the needs of this ministry, I, obviously going into the maximum security prison is not for everyone, and, um, but there is a need. I would love to have a team of about three or four ladies, and this is the reason why. Because of these prayer requests that we get, um, that's how we're building relationships. And obviously I, I can only go in and touch personally, so five or six at a time to talk to them about what they wanted us to pray about and to just talk to them before I have to set up and do the exercise and, and then the days just the hour just goes by fast. So the more ladies that we can actually have in there um, to touch base with them um, because it means so much to them that people give their time. It's incredible just what that alone speaks to their heart, that they're not forgotten, that they are loved and cared for. Um, it's so hard to express how much that means to them. So a need would be, if you feel like the Lord at all would lead you to possibly um, become a part of the team, you wouldn't have to go um, two times a week. Obviously, it could be maybe once a month or something like that that you could participate. Um, I'm so thankful, again, to Columbia Crossroads for the financial support that they already give to help provide the fresh fruits and vegetables. Um, it is sometimes labor intensive to provide the fresh fruits and vegetables as far as everything has to be cut up and put in baggies. Water bottles, the labels have to be ripped off. Anytime anybody would like to help with that, that would, that would be great. We could easily coordinate that. Um, I also started a pen pal program. So if there's anyone that feels like they're at a time in their life that they maybe could once a month write to an inmate that doesn't receive mail from anyone else, um, there's always a need for um, pen pals. Thank you.